Hello, welcome to Craft Tree. My name is Kirsty and I'm going to take you on a little tour of our website. Craft Tree is a site that was written by Tatters for Tatters, so it's all centred around tatting and other crafts, but mainly around tatting. When you first come into the site, you'll be presented with a dashboard page. Now there's a lot going on here, so I'll leave you to have a look and to explore this. And I'll just point out that in the middle here is the main sort of page about what's going on. So this here is a digest view which works a little bit like Twitter in that everything that happens shows up on this timeline as it happens. We also have a timeline view which works in a similar way to Facebook. So there you'll have the comments grouped with the main item and you'll be able to write directly on each of those. And in addition to that we have a summary view where we group like um, updates according to the types. So here's our project updates, our forum posts and comments and activities. But have a look around, choose a digest view or a timeline view according to which suits you best. Now when you first come into tatting you'll probably find that what you're wanting is to find out what, where to get books and where to get information. We have a resources area here which is like a library, you can find out all sorts of things here. Let's have a look for Conia, who is one of the um, Tatter's favourites. And you'll see that in our system here we have seven of Conia's books. We currently have about 1500 books and websites logged in our system and we represent over 900 individual authors and designers. We'll have a look at Tatting with Visual Patterns, which is a very popular book of Mary's. And this is our library detail page. On this page you'll find all the information you need to again, get a copy of this book. And we also have links to reviews online if we have those. A bit of a description and comments. If you have this book feel free to leave a comment. Sometimes you'll find that there are errata listed on this page as well. Here we can see that this book has 56 patterns and we've completed our cataloging. So let's click on this. And here's all the patterns that are found within that book. This is a really good way to get to have a look inside a book without actually physically having it in front of you. So it's really great if you're finding books online. We scroll down we can see all the different patterns that are here and get a sense of whether or not this is a book that we want or whether we already have some of these patterns. I can't imagine anybody not wanting one of Mary's books, they're so brilliant. If we come down let's have a look at the spinning wheel mat. This is a pattern detail page and it contains all the information about this pattern including the designer and where it was published so that links back and categories. We try and categorise every pattern in our system. It's a fairly comprehensive catalogue there. We also list the um, craft types that are included, so sometimes you'll have patterns that include more than one craft type, and any specific techniques that are involved. There's comments, and you can leave comments, and there's projects that are using this particular pattern. So clicking on the projects will give you this. And here you can see, this is one of the big powerful things about Craft Tree, is here you can see what this pattern will look like in different types of thread, different sizes of thread. So you can see whether you like it in a variegated or perhaps you prefer it in a solid. If I click on this one, I can have a look at the details for this particular project. I can see who has created this project what thread they've used, when they've created it. So start and finish dates, that can give you an idea of roughly how long this piece might take you. Um, now we do know that you might tat slower or faster than this tatter, however it sort of gives you a ballpark figure and an idea of whether it's a very quick project or whether it's a longer project. They've left some comments and then other people have made comments about this, quite a few. It's quite a nice discussion about this particular project. And there's some quick buttons here, so if you like you can just leave a quick response by 
clicking here. The pictures here are alternative pictures for this, which can be very helpful when you're trying to make a pattern to see exactly how it was made. And here we can see that it was done with noodle tatting, which was also mentioned in the craft types here. So that takes us through the resource, the library resources, the library detail page, the pattern pages, and the project pages. I'm going to go and look for a particular pattern now. I'm looking for a cobweb doily, which I know is in our system. And there's quite a few with that name, but this here is the one that I'm looking for. So this particular pattern is in a number of books. So it may well be that I've already got one of these books. For example, it's in the Rita Weiss book. Perhaps I didn't realise that it was in that book, and I know that I've got that book in the back of the, of the book case there. There's also a direct link here because this pattern is in the public domain and it is available online, and where that is the case, we will provide a direct link. There was a tat along held for this, and we transcribed the instructions, but you can read some more about that. And here's all the projects. So 54 projects in this case. Let's have a look at them all. Now you'll see there's a discrepancy between the number of projects there and the number of results here. And that's because some of those projects are private and not available to view just yet. But you can see here that there's quite a few different ways of doing this and it gives quite different effects, which is lovely. It's even one first place. And really small and much larger. So this will give me an idea of exactly how this project is going to come up on the thread that I'm planning on using. Okay, let's go back to forums. We have a very vibrant community on Crafttree. We started as a mailing list in 1993. That's over 23 years ago. And we're probably the, in fact I know we are, the longest running tatting group online. We predate an awful lot of real life tatting groups as well. So here we've got our forums. Now there's a lot of different forums and different groups, but don't be put off by that. You can find what you're after quite easily. So if we go into search and we can search for whatever we like, perhaps we'd like to see if there's a knitting group. And you can see there's there's three groups related to knitting. Let's go back to tatting. And in tatters here is the original tatting group. Most of our members are in this site and you'll see that there's threads and discussions that go quite, quite far back. So beginners, you can see here that it's quite a vibrant community and these little flags show you where people are from. So as you can see, we've got a very large number of re countries represented. It's, it's quite an exciting community indeed, and quite lovely people, very helpful. There's over 225,000 posts on Crafttree. So if you have a question about tatting, you will find it here. If in doubt, you can search on every section of craft tree at once. So let's put in Clooney. Let's have a look at these patterns. And there we go. Quite a lot of patterns. This is a great way to find patterns related to specific techniques um, so that you can practice those. Up here under my craft tree, these are links to all the sections that we have for you. So, project book, and here's my tatting projects. You've noticed here that there's crochet, knitting, sewing. We really don't care what crafts you put into craft tree. It's really for you. So, we don't want to restrict you to any particular crafts because we know that most tatters are very creative people and will use more than one form of craft back up to here 
If you click on your little avatar up in the top right here, you will see there's a link to my profile. This is where you can put some information about yourself. You can access any of your posts or threads. It's quite a bit of information. You can see all of your projects here, all your groups and badges. We award you badges for doing various things on the site and interacting with the site and they'll just pop up from time to time and you'll, you'll get a little notice that you've got one. So that's Craft Tree. I hope that you're inspired to have a look on the site. Do come in, do have a look around. If you've got any questions, please do let us know and we'll help you out. There's always somebody online who can answer questions for you. We hope to see you soon. Happy tatting.